Hello and welcome back. So for the rest of the Laravel series, we're going to be recreating this template right here. This is an HTML template that I got from freecss.com. I will have the link in the description to download the zip file, or you can download it directly from the website. Both links will be in the description. So this is where I got it. Uh, surprisingly, after I downloaded it, it didn't have these images here, so it looks rather different once you download it. But once you're done downloading this, uh, also download a, an admin panel here that we're going to be using to upload our images. And let me see here. So once you manage to download, you're going to have a zip folder. It's called Magazine Free Website Template. So you are going to extract that. And there's a folder in here. And then there is this. So let me try and open the HTML file in Firefox. And this is how it looks like. So let me just scroll down a bit so you can see that. Okay. All right, so that's how it is. And it's got a menu here. And of course it's responsive. So we will have the user image here about the writer. So this is a news, uh, like a magazine, uh, news article website. And there's a search bar here and a few categories there, which is awesome. And some social links down here and at the footer. All right, but we'll need uh, an admin panel, like I said, so also uh, get that admin panel. It's called Simple Admin, Simple Admin Free uh, Website Template. Yeah, that's what it is. So in here, open the index page as well. It's a very simple uh, admin panel. We don't need many of this stuff here. We just need the uh, just a simple dashboard here for uploading things and a few of these icons there as well. And these error messages there. And the UI elements, especially because we want to create a form for uploading our images. And then we're going to need a table as well, just like this one for uh, displaying the posts that we have on the front end, but displaying them here on the back end so that we can edit them when we need to okay so and of course we're going to need a login and sign up uh, page as well so with that i have another template the it will be part of the zip file and this is the one here i will open with uh, firefox so i got all these from separate places so we can use this we will edit it and uh, make sure the colors match what we need, etc. etc. So, login, sign up, yeah. Okay, so pretty good. Now, you are not uh, limited to using these templates here that I'm showing. You can obviously download your own templates as long as you have a login, sign up page, you have something that resembles a uh, admin panel, and you have the actual website. So really, it doesn't matter the template, you can use any. However, take a look at free-css.com. Free There's plenty of templates here to go around. You can get any that you prefer. Okay, so with that in mind, uh, we must begin our coding process. Now, make sure that your server is running, of course, and then go to your htdocs folder or the server folder. And what I did, like I mentioned earlier in the series, is that once I download Laravel 8 using Composer, I save a copy of that folder so that I can easily make a copy of that folder without having to download it every time. So here there's Laravel 8 and I'm just going to change this copied folder to magazine like so okay and we are good to go so now magazine contains the files for laravel very good 
So all we need to do now is open up our text editor and let me drag and drop this folder into there. So drag and drop the folder into here and we are good to go. So everything is empty for now. Uh, we don't have a database yet or anything like that. So let's go to the .env file and create, uh, change the database name here to uh, magazine underscore db. So you can name uh, your your uh, your database anything. If you're using uh, mump, make sure that the password is root here. If it's the default password, if you're using zamp or or wamp, uh, no password. Okay, so once we are done with this, uh, let me save that and we are good to go. So let me go to my browser, back to the browser, and let me navigate to localhost. Uh, once I go to localhost magazine slash public, like so. Okay, and that should load our Laravel project from here. Takes a while when it loads the first time. So we have to be patient, I guess. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, there we go. So Laravel there, very good. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is design our homepage, right? The homepage is this one right here. Let's, let me come back here. This is our homepage here and it's a single page, which is good. So what I will do is to fix these HTML pages, is let's go to uh, the template file where the template is so the template is in the folder which i have here and that is magazine free so just copy these files here so the first thing we will do is get this file so this is the index.html file uh, and this is the single okay so good here, what we will do is let me get these two HTML files, copy them, and let's come back here to the folder in HT, HT Docs magazine. And let's go to uh, resources, views, and let's just paste these two guys here. That's it. And let's go back to magazine and let's go to public. Now this is the public folder. So anything that requires display, let's say images, CSS files must be in here and not in the other folders. Otherwise we won't be able to read from them. So everything else here, all resources that are required will follow in that folder. So I'm just going to copy here, everything here, copy. And then I will come back to uh, public folder. Now it's a good th it's it's a good idea to organize files better. So I think in here I'm just going to name this one. It's inside public, and then I'm just going to say assets. So you can give this folder name anything; it doesn't really matter. And let's paste everything in there like so. This way, when we want to delete. Uh, we can simply delete one folder and everything refer referencing uh, this particular display or view will be removed. Now you can, if you are going to be using multiple views or different views for the same project, you can name them using the template name there. Maybe that will make things easier, but for now we'll leave it at assets. Okay, so very good. Now what I will do is go back to the uh, resources views. Now we need these guys to be bled templates. So I'll start with the index. So I'm going to edit this file name here to blade.php and I'll change this other one as well, single to blade.php. Okay, great. So index blade, single blade.php. So let's come back now to our system here and let's go to routes. 
So inside routes, I'll go to web.php and let's create a single route here for the home page. So the home page here, which is the slash there, instead of uh, actually, we didn't even need to make a copy here. All I need to do is reference a different file, which is the index file like so and hit save. Okay, so now let's come back to Laravel project and refresh the page. Right, so as you can see now, we have a different website, but uh, of course our links do not work, but not to fear. Let's go back to uh, resources and the views index.blade. So what we're looking for here is to change uh, every reference to a link. So in our situation here, we have, let's see here. So we have these hrefs here, which are leading to CSS animate. So all these are the CSS files that are required. So what we will do is I will put these guys inside double brackets like that, and then single quotes. Actually, before single quotes, I'll put them in brackets and then single quotes. Okay, this way I can put URL here. Now URL will lead to the main public folder. So what I will do here is put assets because we did add assets there like this and hit save. So I will copy this sequence here to all of these on this section, paste, and then copy the ending on the other side like this and paste like so. Okay, pretty good. Now, the same thing we have to do here, but before we do that, let's see if anything has changed. So refresh. And it's gonna take a while as it always does. Uh, Laravel is quite heavy for my liking. Okay, loading, loading, there we go. So as you can see, a few changes have happened. Yeah, which is uh, awesome, very good. So let's continue here. And all we need to do is add more to this. So let's add these from the JavaScript and copy that, add it here as well. So same process, URL assets, JS, just like that. And let's come down here and look for every reference to, uh, usually the references are from source and not href. Mm -hmm. So we also have links here, which we have to edit shortly, but uh, let's go down and see here. Alrighty then. So here we have uh, all this jQuery, so no problem. Same thing, let's go down here and paste the same system. And at the very end there, we need to close as well, like so. So single quote, bracket, double curly bracket. Save that, come back, refresh. Okay, much better. So we have some JavaScript going on here. You can see some movement and that is awesome. Okay, and lastly, we need our images to be working as well. So every reference to source over here, let me scroll up, 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 up. So there's source images like this. So select that and do a selection throughout by pressing Ctrl D if you're using Sublime Text, like that. Okay, great, looking good. So what we do now is move the cursor to the right. Then let's move back here and paste like so. And then hold down Ctrl and push to the end, like so. Hmm, this is weird. Let me just confirm that uh, it's all at the end. I think it is, okay. So once we are there, uh, what we need to do is move one step back because we have to be inside the double quotes and put a single quote. 
bracket there and then double curly bracket. Save that. And let's refresh. Okay, so you see uh, we are getting something good. All right, so finally we have our template loaded just fine, but without any functionality. So if I click here, uh, everything seems to work fine. So we are doing very well. All right, so that's it uh, for the first video in this project. Let's move on to the next part. I'll see you then.